eyes on the walking dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. Bro, this has got, got more it. recaps than a Carly. One Piece okay, episode, Carly. dude. You'll what shift the hell? in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Oh, don't oh relive God. my glory I don't again. Give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Smoking on that Doug pack. Let's go. Fucking dude. Yeah, dude, dude. I'm sorry. Doug deserved the smoke. Okay. He came after my woman like that. I'm sorry that it had to work out that way, but it really did. Lerald is next, by the way. Oh my God. I can't wait to make a choice that kills Larry. Oh my God. Am I playing this game right? I feel like I'm playing this game wrong. Three months later, I'm dripped out. I'm popping zombies in the head like it's nobody's business. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. Bro, how was their fucking recaps up next on season two ass fucking 20 minutes of like shit that i haven't seen yet spoilers and another 20 minutes of recaps and i have no idea who the fuck this guy is it's like are you deliberately making this confusing that's crazy it seemed like so much at the time maybe you shouldn't have opened the door yeah except then i'd probably be food by now trust me i have no regrets uh, rabbit's hardly a meal mark but i'd take it we're all hungry no kidding when I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Who's Lily? You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having a oh, out daughter? Out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Uh, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? How Seems is like Larry still alive, bro? It's been three months. It's been three whole goddamn months and i still haven't won seemingly pipe carly which is a big l and larry is still alive i haven't even fucked larry's daughter the only reason why larry should still be alive is if i want to fuck his daughter so he gets extra raises and then kills himself okay that's crazy three months bro you have no riz you have no risk thank god i'm fucking controlling this character again holy shit <laughs> larry's been doing yoga to spite you he's just an old racist asshole that's his deal. Yeah. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems are yeah. not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. He did knock me flat. Fucking white supremacist piece of shit. Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Fuck that burp. Bro, you fucking L nerd. Shit. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. You suck, bro. You missed the bird. Did the bullet shoot Kenny instead? Like, what the fuck just happened? Ah! Yo, ain't no way we shot Kenny. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's not Kenny. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? 
Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just <laughs> see if you can get him out. After Classic. that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. I'm ROTC. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, they're coming. Zomber's coming. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. We gotta chop his leg off, baby. Oh, no. We gotta chop Shit. it off. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Chop it off. Get me out of this. Chop Mom, it off. Get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Damn it, this is bad. Really bad. Oh fuck, why am I looking? Oh, please. All that blood and screaming? We're gonna please be surrounded any something. minute. Please! Get me out of please. this! Please! You can't just leave him like this! Maybe chop this? Try to cut the chain! Is he, Hurry. Is he gonna make it? Uh -huh. Oh man! Let's go! Oh, man. Let's go! It's not where I don't think it's working. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on! What Try the fuck is this thing? Uh, it has to be now. Do you think you can get it open? Uh, please hurry, bro. I'm gonna have to chop your leg Damn off, it, big Lee, dog. Just sorry. Leg. We don't have time for that. Oh, I'm sorry, but we have to go now. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Sorry, big dog. The leg's getting out. Uh, Lee, I can't keep him back forever. Sorry, big dog. Uh, yep. You're gonna be Fuck, legless now. Ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god, there's so many of them. Ah, 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 one more. Did that work? Oh shit! Oh shit! He passed out, bro. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. I tried my best. There's a tourniquet on his leg already. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on. We gotta move. Ah! Run, dumbass. I thought your father was special forces. Oh, he's so dead. He's so eaten. All right, good. At least they got... All right, no! they, got, they got someone else to pay attention to now. Dumbass. Fucking... Oh, my father. I was in the ROTC. Like, fucking... Dumb fuck. Guess what, dude? You're dead now. So, yeah. What happened to your epigenetic special forces memories? Didn't work there, did it? You don't have to be fast. You just have to not be the slowest. You know what I'm saying? Guess he didn't... Guess he failed the walking course of the special forces camp. What is Larry doing, bro? He's just fucking hammering a rock. I hate him. I hate him so much. You know this game is not going to let me kill him easy, too. What? Duck! Fuck, man. Get the Duck gates is... open! We've got wounded! <laughs> Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on. Oh my god. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Oh my hey, god, they're so antagonistic. Hey, no, I mouth. don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Bro, she sucks too. I mean, I'll, I, I'd still pipe. Like, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? This will happen specifically because her dad's racist. Okay, I can fix her. But she is fucking annoying just like her dad, bro. Jesus Christ. Both of them are racist. Straight up. Oh, my God. Guys, you don't understand. It's anti-racist. <sighs> Me having sex with her would be anti-racist because the dad would get really mad and then kill himself. That's the goal here. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. 
We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, <laughs> I... Just Yo, shut on, the okay? fuck up, dude. You, you like have no choice in the matter. You better look at Clementine's drawings right now, bitch. I didn't save your stupid ass so you would fucking sit around and not look at Clementine's drawings, you motherfucker. But we can make our own goddamn Be grateful. decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. You're but a they lunch at least lady, babe. <laughs> fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Oh my Dad, God, I can't wait. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? God, he sucks so bad, you racist monster. I can't wait for you to die, bro. I cannot wait, bro. I can't you wait for the Zombers if to attack. If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Ain't no way that's the only food we have that's in the backpack. That's all the food we have for today. Ain't no fucking you way. You gets to eat. Look. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Yeah, I'm giving it all to Clem. Fuck this. You have four food items for 10 hungry uh, people. Yeah, Clem gets it all, bro. Clem gets four. Duck is not eating. Let me tell you, you know who's not eating? Daddy? Daddy racist over here, okay? Mr. Klansman? If you think you're getting a fucking piece of Lunchables, you're out of your goddamn mind! Okay? Starve! Fuck face. Alright, I'll talk to everybody and see who deserves okay. it the most. I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. <laughs> I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. It's what your husband but wanted? What the fuck? sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Oh my god, bro. I can't wait to wield this newfound power for absolute evil. You know what I'm saying? If you think I'm gonna be nice about this food supply shit, you're out of your goddamn mind, okay? I'm I'm Will straight you up. Hold the damn board steady. I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh my god, I hate him. I hate him so much on my life. There is not a person I hate on this planet more than him right now. Hey, oh my god. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. Like, racist old man, you need medicine to survive. That's a L. Your heart has given up. Even your heart's not in it. Shut the fuck up. Call them motherfuckers pansies, bro. Oh my god. I would literally substitute his pills for Skittles as soon as I could, okay? Jesus Christ, bro. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Classic chair force, by the way. Uh, I'm so tired. Uh, there aren't children that I can drone strike today. <laughs> I'm at my limit for drone striking children today, nerd. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. 
He is tired, though. I feel like I need some allies in this battle. Here, eat something. Wait, I thought I had four pieces of food. What the fuck? I got you an apple. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Nah. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Shut the Come fuck on, up, man. old give man. It a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is. Uh -huh. You two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. I didn't even deny it, bro. I said, yeah, bum. What's up? What's up? He is racist. See? He didn't even deny it. He's like, yeah. What's up? I am racist. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Ain't no way I'm giving this food to Larry. I'm going to flex on him. Want some food? Just kidding. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Bro, white people, white people in, in the end of time still won't drop racism. You see that? He didn't even fucking deny it. He was like, yeah, I am racist. What are you gonna do about a bitch? Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Want some Keep food? on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. <laughs> yeah, I don't get told off by your kind looking ass. Bro, he is so... It's true, At he is racist. The kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I oh promise. my god. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Talk hey, to this is new my guy. friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Mm -hmm. The group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Ben Parker, Paul? the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the terrible name when when everything happened. Playoffs for what band? How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know, some kind of I don't know something. Two first names. You can't trust them. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. I'm not going to forget Relax. that. We'll get your friend back to normal. Lee no won't forget this, I that sure he has two so. first names. Oh, God, I don't even want to do this right now. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? No. Nope. Oh, come on, oh, Ben. You I didn't know. even try it's hard. Dog, right? no. Duck, you're a fucking idiot. Oh, my God, you're so stupid, Duck. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. God damn, Catch he's dumb, later, bro. Duck. Bye, Lee. Duck's not even drawing nothing. He's got like the, the schizophrenic drawings, bro. Do you see that? He's just scribbling on that paper with fucking viciousness. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Bro, if you think I'm giving Duck food, you're out of your fucking mind, okay? I need him to shut the fuck up. I don't need him to be energized. I'm hoping that if he doesn't get any food, maybe he'll be tired, okay? You're out of your fucking mind. You saw how fucking angrily he's scribbling on that piece of paper. His ass is like, give me a fucking Lunchable meat and I will keep going for years. Okay, I will never shut up. I'll tell you all about dinosaurs and shit. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? 
You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. If you think I'm going to give Larry a piece of food, you're out of your goddamn mind, okay? On Autism Awareness Month, too? Come on, bro. I can't believe you're, you're owning Doug as autistic. That's crazy. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Okay, well, now I don't need to give you food then, because you already gave it to me. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. You I ain't getting no is. food, Kenny. I'm Dumb taking fuck. my family. All right. I am going with him. Should I give him a piece of food? Fuck, he's going to want to give it to his stupid fucking son, though. I'm giving one to Clementine for sure. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry, too. Yeah, Fuck no. we need to get some food. Bro, I do actually feel kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. I do feel kind of bad about... I just, I don't want to give him food. Fuck Duck. Duck can suck my, well, no, he's, he's a child, but fucking he can die, okay? Gotcha, here, here you go. Eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Duck? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Fucking. I need space, Lee. God damn, everybody's saying feed Duck. Everybody's saying you gotta feed Duck, and I just ugh, don't want to feed him. He's so fucking annoying, bro. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now, and it's working. For now, we should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Oh, okay. Got it. Keep Dumbass. Fine. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it, dude. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so hungry. I feel bad, bro. Someone in the chat said, don't be like the IDF. Give Doug food. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I can't tell who else is hungry. Maybe Lily? Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. It's like I'm still a racist bitch. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? Bro, I really thought the food, the, I really thought the cracker game was gonna actually work. I'm not kidding. I really thought, bro, worst choice? Wait, what? Elriz, I just lost because she's racist. And the other lady also, Carly hates me too. Look at her. Look at her giving me the side eye. Fuck, bro. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh, you There's think you left. got food? You keep treating people <laughs> like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. I'm trying to get yeah. you to die, well, Larry. Larry, get the message, bitch. I want you dead. I want your ideas to die, too, because you are a white supremacist. But I definitely want you dead in general. I hate you. Eat shit and die. I hope your pills run out, you fucking piece of shit. Are you working on that wall? Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. No! God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, I killed his ass. No problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, what the fuck? He got bit. 
He got beat! He got fucking beat, dude! Fuck you! Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I do? Oh, I gotta hit. Oh, I gotta slam it like that? Move, move! Oh, you suck so much ass, bro. You suck so much ass, bro. God damn it, bro. You fucking chair force scumbag. Kill his ass, bro. Kill his ass. Shoot it. God damn, son. Okay? I brought a fucking zomber yeah. back to camp. Thanks. This sucks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Wait, what? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Wait, what? We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is Wait, what I've the seen fuck? people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were Bro, I'm not even kidding. I literally thought that that was the case. So <gasps> when Larry's fucking pills run out, I get to cave his skull in. Let's go, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet victory. Oh, my God. I am going to poke holes in his skull to drink the blood of my other enemies from it. Oh, my Lord. I get to kill him twice. Sweet victory. This is called Silver Linings, okay? Finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? That's racist as hell. We got plenty. That's right. Do they, oh, they sound racist as hell, bro. Oh my god, that's so sus. Oh, right, we got a dairy farm. Where we definitely don't do white supremacist activities. Get the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So uh what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. You need to stop sleeping on Carly. She's the goat. No, I know so she's the goat. This dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Damn, these guys are... Bro, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Racist, though, like the fucking preppers, like, they're kind of goaded at this shit. You know what I mean? They're like, think about it this way. They already think, like, every non-white person is, like, a zombie. Literally right now, when there isn't, like, uh, some kind of catastrophic event taking place. So they're prepped for this, like, from day one. You know what I mean? Kill them and take over the farm? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. Don't praise the preppers. Honestly, if the fucking, if doomsday happens, I would praise the preppers, and then I would kill them, and then take over their farm, but... It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. 
Just yesterday, I was you think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Bro, is she gonna... I mean, thank are God we gonna sex so or what? Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Oh my God, bro. They're races. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mom's okay, these guys are gonna eat us, bro. As long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it There's all to yourselves. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> You. Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Can't wait to do that to Larry, bro. I just saw a snapshot of my future, you know what I mean? Larry's about to get the smoke. Yo, get the crossbow, son. What are you doing? These guys have no survival instinct, bro. That's like perfect crossbow, silent killer. Here it is. Saint That's John's insane that they let that go. That's insane. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Bro, they look so incestuous, dude. They look like an incest family. Straight up. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old I also don't see any zombies on the fucking wall, so either they're eating the zombies after they fry them, or they're eating people. Farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's Dude, that right. is... Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. 
A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Bro, they're It'll eating. Be nice to have they're some eating humans. Help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? They're eating humans. Why the bandits are the good guys. One hundo P. For the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you ben? Leaving her with fucking Mark, nerdy Lee, ass Ben? Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got Too nice, food. bro. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working. You are so see. dumb, bro. Okay, why is it that goofy motherfucker, bro? This game is too realistic. I swear to God, bro. How did you pass the ASVAB with that? No, man. They're eating people, okay? They're eating people. It's not the broken swing that I'm afraid of. Motherfucker's like, wow, there's an OSHA violations happening everywhere here. Oh. Checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the <laughs> tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yeah, this is uh, this is real weight pulling by fixing the fucking dumbass swing. God damn it, I can't believe I was... I can't believe they're stupid enough to believe that I was leading this group, okay? Oh my god, maybe they're not eating people. No, they are eating people for sure. Let's be real. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Bro, I cannot... Uh, dude, I do not trust these dudes. I do not trust these incestuous-looking freaks, bro. No shot. He's, like, following me along like a shadow, too. Perfect for the swing. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really pulling my weight here with the swing operations, you know? That rope is also good to fucking mm, hang one of the children. Herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Yeah, fresh herbs to use inside of the fucking humans, dude. I'm hanging the fucking kids. Like the, the the incest kids. Not not duck, even though duck could get it too. Wow, he's really doing a great job surveilling the this scene is too here. Big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size. This might make a good seat for the swing. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hi. I suss you out. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks. Uh, 
trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. <laughs> yeah, moved on to our bellies, dude. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. Where's Max? Where's Max, bro? All right, I'm gonna go inside the house first before I fix the perimeter. Me. Okay, well, we got to secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Wait, let me talk to Mark. Get his assessment so of the situation. Out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. So one of the just said, man, I would not last a week without internet. Bro, you would have so much work, dude. You know the amount of fucking work that's constantly required to maintain a plantation-style home like this? In the midst of a goddamn zomber apocalypse, right. don't worry, you'd be, you'd be keeping be busy. Tough. You would not have time for the internet. Damn. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Why are they so Ohio coded? Come on now. Giddy up. Paula Dean is gonna cook you. Oh, 100 percent Maybe her racism will stop her from eating me though. You know what I mean? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these Sus. days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Sus. Sus. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Let well, me in the house, you know, woman. Now, aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of you, staff? We oh, ate him. We've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Okay, I'm not gonna lie now, I'm being sus. You know what I mean? Like, random dude shows up at your front door, was invited, but it's like, how many rooms does your house have when I kill you and take over your house? I would like to know. Well, he did a fantastic job. It's like I'm doing a fucking Zillow appraisal. I believe in making a house a home. <laughs> when will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Bro, this is 2010. That house is worth, like, right after the fucking, right after the market crash, like, two years after. That house is worth, like, a cool 250 if at that. You know what I mean? Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what <laughs> it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. <laughs> Sorry, man. It just, it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice.
Never mind. He's based, bro. He's like, listen, I'm a based anti-white. I mean, I'm a based anti-racist activist. Okay. None, no half measures. You know what I mean? He's like, no fucking dancing around the issue. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Uh, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. I didn't check this one if he's alive or not. Man, the fence burnt right into his hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. God damn. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Right Thanks after that? Earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> oh God, they're coming and we're keeping him there. Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. The zombies are coming in when we're on the other side, bro. One hundo P. Trust. It's gonna come alive, bro. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what would happen, you son of a What bitch. the hell? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You got lucky that time. Give us the food. Get closer. Come on out. They hide the blades are stuck in the dirt. Oh, now I can push it. Come on now. I can't push the tractor. What the fuck? We should have picked up the fucking crossbow, bro. Fucking thing. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Shit, that hurts. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Racist fucking hicks, dude. God damn it. Everywhere. I can do this all day. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have you to really move think it. What about all arrangements? Don't think I can't see ya. <sighs> Try to lure me to the open. <sighs> Try to lure him in the open. What do they got? Unlimited crossbow ammo? What the fuck's going on? Oh, another dead. Another dead in the way. God damn it. Another one? This one's alive, probably. One of them's gonna be alive. Oh. Told you. Told you. Told you one's bound to be alive. Oh my god. You okay? Yo, throw him at the fucking throw him at the wall, son. He's right there. He's coming after us. 
good. Now we're gonna take one too. Wait, what? Damn. What the fuck? Wait, I thought. Was I supposed to kill him? I You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. I thought if I was in front of the tractor, I'd get fucking caught by the goddamn uh, crossbows. I was wrong, I guess. You really think you can fuck with us? Damn, they accidentally killed the zomber. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. They Wait, left the door what's open. Wrong? Uh, 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 it was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Uh, Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna <laughs> <Yeah>. be okay? <laughs> he got he got shot with an arrow is so obvious. Like, yeah, no shit, he's not all right, and he got fucking shot with an arrow. Took an arrow to the goddamn knee. Yeah, I'm fine. I should Sorry. just. It out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Yeah, well, she'll sort you out all right. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. <sighs> Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out. Oh, dude, they're definitely not nice. Okay, Larry has the worst radar, bro. If Larry likes them, oh my God, I can't wait to make a deal with the Big Mama to be like, yeah, you can eat this fat one, okay? He's got a lot of meat, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Big Mama. Big Mama's going, love you, Larry. Before we eat. I'm going to head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Bro, they're so annoying, they annoy one another. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're yeah. the best. Yeah. Larry saw their big, beautiful white skin and thought to himself well these are good kind-hearted folk let me tell you classic why are the brothers so ugly inbreeding bro inbreeding oh fucking laryl dude he's getting comfy bro he is so comfy here look at him look at how comfortable he is he's like yep that's a racist gazebo i love that lee oh my god i'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there do you think mark will be okay wish i knew but i think he's in good hands now yeah it's not too bad He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring no, us to you this place? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. When have you seen a guy take a fucking arrow and get through it? Like, he, he just kind of said that, but like, how? When have you seen guys go through worse? Fucking asshole. Shut up. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things <laughs> from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? 
Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive and not giving my dad food. That was cold. I gave you food, dumbass. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. That sucks. You are a bad person. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. Sexo. He just... He's got a lot of pain. Yeah, he's a lot of pain so of much being... And lost... A lot of pain of being white in an anti-white society. From his perspective, of course. Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. That's a terrible reason, Lily. Not to get all fucking rad lib on Twitter, but like, this is the type of conversation that you should be having at Thanksgiving with your racist ass family members, but y'all are not ready for that conversation. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, yeah we know. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong. Oh my god, Larry! Bro, Larry, I swear to God, he only knows about my murder because he's he's trolling the fucking Fox News black crime tab. Okay, straight up, dude. Racist. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not Wait, enough what? room in the camp out Open the door. What's in there? Not letting me open the door. Sus. They look happy. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Is there a QTE for this? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Man, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh... Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things, fellas. You saw <clears throat> what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon, then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. We think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Oh, I have some questions, bro. Yeah, but I guess that's what we gotta do. To find out a bit more about what we're up against. Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Trying to get ambushed again. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Their food's still hot. Means they're either there 
they haven't gone too far setting up for an ambush clear this camp's too small it can't be their main base that's what i was thinking take a look around anyway there's probably some shit around here they stole from us What, what do you is find? That? A video camera. Let me see that. Wait, no. Let me see it. No. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. Good. What else they got over here. Let's see Why if is we can that find good? anything useful and then get a move on. Why is that good? Why would you be excited if the fucking battery's dead? Yo, that's weird, bro. That's weird. That's weird as hell, bro. He's weird as hell. He's so inbred looking too. That's sus. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Bro, he sussed me out. He sussed me out big time, bro. The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. Oh, you shit. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. The fuck? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Oh. oh, may I assist you? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> we got zombies coming in too, probably. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Take the crossbow, bro. Fucking finally smart enough to... Come on. No, I didn't shoot her. He did. I got real SA vibes underlying. Yes. I feel like she was uh she was trauma dumping. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. 
I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. You know what's for dinner? That fucking Chair Force vet. That's what. Check on Mark. I can't, bro. I want to, but I don't know where the fuck he is. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> Get the cooking, woman. You want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no. I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. Slow cooking. Oh, my God. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. It sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Means you can't trust them. Any of them. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Huh. That's... <laughs> they, they, they like their drugs out there. You can't trust them. W what drugs, lady? It's a zombie apocalypse. Fuck you mean drug problem, bro. Brenda must use this thing for household repairs. Wait, open it, bro. Open it. Open it. Oh, shit. What's in here? Multi tool. That should be handy. Yoink. Copped it. Aww. That cow right there sleeping like Kyer. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Not red. Don't care. It's a red heifer. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Aw, she's so cute. Mm. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Look, you are so fucking okay. stupid, bro. How, I don't know how the hell. I don't know how the hell you turned out like this. Your mama smart. Your daddy smart. You dumb as hell, son. I want to play in the hay. It's like, what the fuck? What do you mean? It's back there. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy <laughs> Why was... You. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. <laughs> I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. It's probably so daddy. A hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? Wait, no. why? Why would you say that? Oh my god. Remember when I clocked it as Kenny being like slightly racist but doesn't mean it and he's like a good guy overall? This is that moment. That looks racist too. He's probably not racist because he's got the, the puka shell necklace or whatever the fuck it's called. You think you, you want to think he is, but he's one of those dudes. He's just a swagged out white boy. I can see Kenny having like a racially charged moment, but like he doesn't mean it's it. You know what I mean? Like he means well, but he's like, well, you're black, you know? <laughs> Your folk do that sort of thing. You know, urban? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, Kenny. Oh no, it, it be your own ones. Oh no, Kenny, just cause I'm a black man, huh? That's fucked up, Kenny. That's so fucked. Said urban. You are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. 
Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. That's good hmm. writing. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Perfect. Mama gets nervous, huh? Distract Andy and to get him out of the barn. Mama no likey. Wait, what the Looks fuck's like in that one? Bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Wait, oh my god. It's not their clothes, bro. Chat, it is the clothes of their victims. One hundo P. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> That's it? Right. That's my All excuse? Right. Be right back, Doc. That's the excuse I have? That's terrible. That's not gonna fucking fly, bro. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Dude, I got jubated by an inbred hick, bro. That's like, like, think about how fucking dumb I am. Of so, course they're yucking it up. Like yourself, run this whole place. Of course they're yucking it up, bro. He is so gross. Oh my god, I hope she eats him. Oh my god, Laryl, you fucking son of a bitch. Oh my god, at least someone's getting sexo out here, and it's fucking Larry. Of course, this game is so cooked. Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Just two old races, bro. They're having the time of their fucking lives, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. It's crazy that I'm using the multi-purpose. Bro, there ain't no way I'm fucking this thing up, like dude. This is gonna protect the, us. Uh, what you would call it? Um, Ow, damn it. The thing is moving fast. I don't want to fucking break it permanently. I want to push the power switch. Will I have time to push the power switch and then fucking... Uh, and then pull it out? <clears throat> thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, all. Oh, ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Well, time to get back in there. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come God, on. Don't God, make the children wait. It. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. screws holding Fuck. it to the door if i can remove them i don't even need to deal with the lock am i doing the wrong thing lock picking lawyer time baby bro that's just a cow murder room boy didn't you hear the bell 
You call me boy. Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. They're the ones who had the bear trap, by the way, one hundo P. And you don't need, you don't need a fucking bear trap with no exit latch if you're trying to catch animals. Oh, oh Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. Us, we had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody, sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh. This is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Oh my God, bro, bro, it's Mark. Mark is what's for dinner. Oh my God, we're eating Mark. Oh my God, it's a setup. We are eating Mark. I can't eat the food here, bro. Oh Mark, it's what's for dinner. Oh Marky Mark, dude. Oh boy. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Yeah, I'm going upstairs to see if fucking Mark is alive, bro. Come on now. Someone said Mark Cuttery board. Is that blood? It's fresh. Where Where's Mark? Where's Mark? I thought Brenda said he was up here resting. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. That's, that's there's a room behind that for sure. I probably shouldn't be plugging this in, but fuck it. the hell told you fucking called it dude that's gonna make a lot of noise though oh my god oh my god oh my god I don't know if I want to know what's in there bro that's Mark that's the butcher station. Lee. Mark. What the hell happened? Can I just say I fucking called it from a mile away, bro? Oh my God. My survival instincts are out of control right now. It's crazy. to your legs, man. Don't eat dinner. Honey, did you follow him? Dinner's on the table. Everyone has that. Roger. Did y'all get barbecue meat? Clementine. Get the Clementine before she eats. Don't eat that! What? Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, oh Doug's going to town. Down, this Doug's going to town, dude. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? That's ridiculous. You're uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Doug's eating good, bro. I was eating that. Quite what is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. 
Oh my gosh, how she's I rationalizing was it. How I raised my boss. Now you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking what? Put fuck? your guns down! We're. Yeah, Larry, you fucking idiot. You dumb fuck. Fuck you, Larry. Yo, oh my god, do I give them Larry? Did Doug ever stop eating, bro? I feel like he's still eating. <laughs> Doug's still in the corner like, I don't give a fuck. This shit's tasty. Yo, keep Doug too. Fuck it, dude. Keep Larry. Keep Doug. I'm with her. Maya, you would not be able to eat the humans, okay? You talk a big game, but you would be getting eaten out here, okay? They would eat you first and your birds. First, they would come for your animals one by one, and then it would eat you and the birds. Walking you out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? No, it Lee? won't. I don't know why I lied like that. Yeah! Oh, now, oh. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! The bandits are going to save us technically because they're raiding the home. Unless it's fucking Mark coming downstairs. Someone. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. oh, oh, what the fuck? Did we all die? What happened? Oh, oh hell no. Door. You can't keep us in here. Oh, no. You put me in a room with Laryl. Oh, Just that's so that much worse. Just eat me, bro. Way out of here. Just eat me, bro. Don't fucking... No, just eat me. Just eat me. Just take me out. Chop me up. Eat me, bro. Do not lock me in a room with Larry. Please. Please, bro. Yo, shit! <laughs> fucking bastards! Open this door! God damn it! Oh, I my God. Whoa, oh, what a nightmare, yourself. dude. It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Oh my god, Larry. I fucking hate you so much, bro. I swear to god, you are the worst piece of shit of all time on my Your life, dad's dude. Your not making things any easier for us. Oh Open my... the fucking dad, door! stop! God damn it! Come on, show yourself. Why can't he Come fucking on, die just now? Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. <laughs> and you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. That's true, I do. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn... I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! No, you're not worth the energy to hate. Don't forget, I know who you really are. There's more of us on the way! Let us out now! If you want to live, that is not gonna help! Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Nah, door's too solid. They're not gonna open the door! You think a fucking apocalypse? They got gives caught you and duck, right Lee. Those fuckers have my family. Bad. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, oh, he's gonna die. Oh, thank God. Easy. Oh, thank God. Now I have to kill him. Oh God. Dad. Oh, now we have to kill him, bro. No. Dad, come on. 
Come on. Oh, now we Dad. have to kill him. Oh Come no, on. we he have to use breathing. the salt lick on his I head. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's Bruh. not dead. I like where Kenny's head's at. Kenny's thinking ahead. Kenny's thinking three steps ahead, bro. Everybody in the room's like, oh, finally. Now we get to kill him before he turns. Meanwhile, she's like, oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to save him. Shut the fuck up. Your dad is dead, okay? Start lear learning. Learn how to live with him. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. <laughs> Bro, he's not even minutes, dead yet. We're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back, Lee. We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead. Lily can still save him. I Let's wish see. she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was let's see, I let's gave him see, the let's see. Of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Let's see. Duck was I haven't given up on trying to hook up with Lily. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I fed her. Like she'll remember, hopefully, that I didn't want to kill her dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, plus, remember, I do want to have sex with her while her dad is alive, so he kills himself. That's like way more. That's revenge. Bitten, but come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Got to destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. How do I even Come help on. her? Lee. I mean, I'll try to Is help. I'll try to help. All? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna what? turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a Three, bitch! You're fucking four, worthless, Lee. Fuck! He's alive! No! Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. Bro, his mouth was moving. He was like... I can't tell if it, I love the way that they did that because you can't tell if his mouth was moving because he was turning or it, his mouth was moving because he was like getting back alive. It's crazy. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me. Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. Kenny, you gotta be strong. Kenny saved the Larry's about to say one last slur before he died. Yeah, that's why his mouth was moving. I could tell. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but... He was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cares about keeping it. Bro, she got daddy's fucking brains on her mouth. That shit is cold blooded. That's terrible. Safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls <laughs> to do the Larry hard thing. See if Larry made it. Or at least one of us has got to. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. Wait, I want to keep talking to him. Look, if we're going to survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Damn, my way or the highway, baby. Hell yeah, Kenny. Hell yeah, Kenny. Wait, what the fuck? Why can't I? Oh, here it is. <laughs> there ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Oh, do they take the my multi-purpose? Wow, of they're so they dumb. Oh, they Maybe did take it. Fuck. Else we could use. I've got a rock. 
Ah, a rock won't help, but a coin might do the trick. Do you? Larry was talking about how he has 60 cents. Let's see. Let's see if he actually has 60 sorry, cents. Larry. Please. I need to be alone. Yeah, okay, dude. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. Oh my god, I can't I wait think to I may have found a way out of here. Oh my god, I, I can't wait to time. fucking loot Larry's dead body. Yo, that shit is great. Move the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible uh -huh. time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. That's crazy. Yo, we're looting Larry, oh, baby. Boy. Let's go. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? <laughs> That's insult to injury. I swear to God. Bro, he deserved it so go. much. He deserved worse, dude, honestly. And a dime. He wasn't lying when he said he has 60 cents on him. Very low amount. Very low amount of fucking... <laughs> this is the biggest screws of all Hurry time, the by up, the way. Lee. We don't have all day here. Man, I don't see you doing no work, dumb fuck. Shut your stupid ass country bumpkin ass up, Florida boy. All you've done is fucking murder people, okay? Well, there's our way out, Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> Okay. Everybody chill out. Clementine needs to be protected at all You're costs, okay? Fine. Calm down. What do I do when I get out? She's the goat. See if you can get She's so brave. She's awesome. I can't believe we're risking Clementine's precious life to save Duck's stupid ass, by the way. Katya carries her own weight, you know what I mean? Kenny. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the hell up, Kenny. Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Kenny, you dropped a fucking Mario-ass blog here. on this man's head. Take care of Lily, okay? And now you're acting well, brand new! Kenny got a taste of murder and literally, I swear to God, he's a different person now. He's changed. He's a changed man. He's like, yeah, I'm the wear, I'm the one wearing the pants around these parts. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. You're a bad dad. God, what's wrong with these people? You weren't in this part of the barn before? Yes, I was. I opened this part up. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm getting... Oh. Wait, I can only take one fucking gun? I take, oh, she used the people's tool, comrade. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards. All of them. I kind of want to keep... I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to take the fucking taser because I want to keep them alive so I can torture them. You know what I mean? What? Am I crazy? They're eating people, chat. Come on now. Oh, I'm the crazy one because I want to fucking torture these fucking freaks. My the bad, bro. Think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Dumbass, get a weapon. 
Bro, Kenny, you are so dumb. I swear to God, you're the dumbest motherfucker alive. I swear to fucking God, bro. Dad, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. Well, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn weirdo. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep in my life? Not the kid. Not enough meat on her to trade. Oh, I know, Mabel. This is Take my look favorite the cracks. too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. That's fucked Where up. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act when I say. See what he's doing now. Bitch. Oh, that's it? That's all that did? Oh, fuck me, bro. Thank God for Lily. Kenny, you fucking L nerd. You didn't do shit. Also, the sickle was whack. I bet the fucking zapper would have clapped his ass immediately. Kenny, you fucking bitched out, bro. Not gonna lie. You had all the smoke for Larry, but turns out when it comes to this other dumb racist hick, you had you had none of the smoke. Kenny's only got fucking Kenny's only got the smoke for for killing Larry, dude. For killing Larry, who's on the ground. Your choices affected Kenny, by the way. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, he felt bad. He didn't want to fucking save my life because I said, hey, maybe we shouldn't fucking bust this dude's skull in. Kenny apologists in the chat, dude. That's kind of fucked up. That's the first time. That's the first time I felt kind of some type of way about Kenny. Kenneled. No! Y'all love him because he's racist. I see how it is. You know, he was like, oh, you're urban. Uh, you see, you understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I what should fucking the kill fuck? you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! Just like he didn't kill Joe. That's what you think, bitch. No! Fuck out of here. Oh no, Clementine saw me kill the guy. Oh no. Bro, I'm cooked. I'm, I, I've made every L choice so far. This chapter, episode two, has not been good for Lee, okay? Lee has fucked up over and over again, taking L's left and right, dude. L for Lee, okay? God, no! Gotcha! Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Caked in blood. Caked in Pappy's blood. I'm a bad dad. Worst possible ending? Stop, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Don't say that. Don't fucking say that, chat. Don't say that. Uh. Oh shit. Oh my god, my girl is Call here. It. Lee? Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. 
Nice. That Yo, she is locked up. Be careful. Bro, that is my girl, dude. Yes, Carly. Yes, girl. Always stay strapped. You know what it is. Always. Oh, no, please, no, no, no. Just shut up. You'll be fine. She got the blicky on her. Oh, I got the 60 cents on me, so I'll, I guess I'll use the oh, 60 God. cents. I'm going to take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Settle down. Why can we Danny? hear everything? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me. Oh, God. Oh, oh that wasn't going to work. Let me go. Yeah, it's me. Lee, hit back. Don't come in here. You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda. What the fuck do I do now? Is she gonna kill Kaja? Please! Please don't you take another step! Brenda, come on now, you know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Stop right there! I mean it! Bro, this sucks. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Oh, there's a zombie above her. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! What, what happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart, huh? How did it come to this? Just stop! Brenda, please. Yeah, keep going upstairs, dumbass. Come on. I don't want to kill you, Lee! This, this dairy was your pride. <laughs> you what don't you've to, done to it. You don't have the guts. Stop! I mean it! Kenny, you fucking suck, Who bro. Who the fuck you... do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! Calm down. Calm down? What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline. One more time, one more time. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, shit. The barrier is broken. The zombies are coming upon us. Oh my god. What do you do? Oh. Get the fuck up. No, no, no. What the fuck? I'm I'm doing it. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? What am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm queuing it up. I'm queuing it up. What am I doing here? No, I'm going to get zapped. Lily. <laughs> Fuck you. Clem is watching, bro. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I can't keep punching him. Not with Clem watching. See? Don't worry. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over! 
Well, his mommy's going to come out of the gate now. As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. They're dead, bro. They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Oh! No! No! I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! Almost accidentally fucked it up. They're getting in! Lee! Let's go. Oh damn, mama's out. Mama's out. Thank God Kenny's still alive. Holy shit, bro. Jesus Christ. At first I thought, dude, this fucking, this story is crazy, dude. It is a crazy ass story. This is a dope game, actually. Oh no, she got the judgmental eyes, dude. Clementine did not like what I had hey, to do. Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine also... <laughs> also, Duck was fucking hounding, dude. Yeah, we gotta check up on Duck. I feel like he's gotta taste the human flesh now. He's not gonna stop. He's gonna be a fucking... He's gonna be the first example of a, of a human zombie. But my boy was I feasting. <laughs> yeah, I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Damn, bro, I thought you were going to be a journalist. <sighs> what is this? How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's going to be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? Fine then. Fine. I saved Duck on the farm and didn't save I didn't Sean. like any of those. I didn't like any of the options. They all sounded fucking insane. You destroyed this group. You murdered it. I kind of want to hang out with Kenny still. Am I cook? Because like, honestly, it, it, fuck, don't tell me. Don't spoil it. But like, I still want to go with Kenny. Now I kill someone before I can put your little girl in danger. And I'm even more of a monster. I don't care. You do what you have to do. I'm gonna keep doing what needs to be done. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Yes, murder hey, is good, Clementine. What's I'm a good noise? dad. Zombers. Gotta be zombers. Sounds More like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Banditos? Don't shoot! We're here to help! Oh my god. We fucking go, bro. Fucks up with this camera. Oh, my man was drinking and driving. Dude. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. 
Yeah, except there's Not someone. all of us. <sighs> it's a trap, bro. Come on. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What I like that all of the adults are just straight lying to the children right now. Like, it very clearly is not an abandoned car. It was running a second ago. Like, oh yeah, it must be abandoned. Yeah, everybody always abandons their cars full of supplies. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Don't steal. Clementine wouldn't like it. Bro, I'm trying to survive here. It's survival of the fittest. What if it is someone's? Wait, do we pull it? Loot? Oh my God. 60% no. 40% yes. All right, chap, vote. Vote like your life depended on it. Vote like you're in there. All right, the no's are winning. All right, the no's have it. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. Clementine and I don't want any part of this. We're starving. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lie, he's, he's shot in the gut, bro. Like, he needs stuff. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. <laughs> Doug hey, is looking there for... There batteries in one of those boxes. I thought Doug they might look... look in your camcorder. Doug is looking for human meat. <laughs> Instead of chatter. Y'all are fucking... By the way, 56% of chat would die in the woods. Okay? Now we know. Myself included. I'm a sucker for democracy. <laughs> But, like, we're all dying, okay? Oh, we got our morals. Oh, yeah, Clementine is proud of us. But it's like, honestly, probably should have went for the food. I probably would have went for the food if there wasn't a fucking electoral outcome here. here. You can have some, too, for your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not going to let me live that down, are you? I mean, yeah, that was pretty dumb. You were pretty dumb for fucking putting those batteries in wrong. Oh, God. Lee... You're going to want to see this. Did they film their oh, gruesome shit. murders? How the fuck does she have the greatest audio of all time? That is the best microphone of all. I don't even think that technology exists. That's like some CIA shit, bro. That's not a shotgun mic. Chat, there is no shotgun mic on the planet that can pick up audio from that distance. Unless she bugged me. That's crazy. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, You're I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people you do. Don't worry, little girl. And it's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. It's a parabolic attachment on a shotgun mic. That's crazy, dude. What a fucking banger. This place is done. It's time to move on. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of Tomorrow we do episode three, baby. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Maybe even episode four. Dad. 
I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Wait, Sometimes trains work still? This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Chop Davis leg off, you and 44%. Shot Jolene, you and 61% of players had Danny Shooter. Pragmatism helped kill Larry, you and 51% of uh, players didn't help. <laughs> that one makes sense. Revenge, you and 61% of players didn't kill both brothers. Survival stole food from the car. You and 49% of players didn't steal. It's all 50-50 because of replays. Uh, yeah, I wonder what it was like when it first came out. Hey kids, thanks for watching the Hassan Abi official gaming channel.